So when we look at an example like this, and we say, okay, you know, we were at the end of the month, I had $771 on my credit card. Interest was only $11. That doesn't seem like a big deal, right? It doesn't seem like that's very much. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the, you know, um, there's an easy trap to get into where you think, well, that's not very much interest. It's not a big deal. Okay. So what I want to look at is I want to look at how much do things cost when you use your credit card, right? What, what, what is the actual cost? If I think about this as a loan, when I bought this gas for $40, how long does it take to pay off and how much interest do I end up paying by the time it's paid off? And like I said, it doesn't really make sense to think about this as a loan that takes a certain number of months or years to pay off because you're constantly paying your credit card and constantly making new charges. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at minimum payments, okay? Because if you paid off your entire credit card every month, you would pay no interest. So your $40 gas would cost you exactly $40. So what I want to do is look at the far end of the spectrum. What happens if you only make your minimum payments, okay? And I've looked at a few different credit cards and their minimum payment terms, okay? And they're all a little bit different, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at an example of a typical credit card. This is kind of a common one that you might see. This one actually came from uh, an example, uh, Terms of Agreement from Bank of America, okay? But there's nothing special about them. That This is how a lot of credit card companies do it. So this is how the minimum payments are computed. They will either charge you 1% of your balance plus the interest charges for the month plus any late fees or $35, whichever is higher. Okay. So if I carry kind of a low balance, like if I look at this last one, okay, and I say, well, 1% of $771 is going to be $7.71. Seven dollars and and if I add the interest to that, I'm looking at right around $19. They're not going to charge me $19. They're going to charge me just a straight $35. The idea is that if your balance is kind of low, just pay at least $35. Okay. We're going to look at an example where we carry a higher balance. So we, we use this other more interesting one. Okay. And if you carry a low balance, you're probably not the person that's really worried about the high you know, uh, financing and interest fees. Okay. It's usually when you when you end up carrying a high balance and you're just making minimum payments for a while. That, that's where things rack up. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example of a credit card with a $5,000 balance. We're going to use that 24% interest rate, which is fairly common. And we're going to use this minimum payment terms above. Okay. So if I want to look at the interest for one month, and just to make things simple, let's just suppose we have a $5,000 balance all month long. Okay. So we're going to use this as our average daily balance also. Okay, so if I have $5,000 for my average daily balance and I multiply by 24% over 12, right, 0.24 over 12, I'll get $100. So our interest charge is $100. Okay. Um, so that's our interest charge. And then we have to add 1% of our, of our balance. Okay. So I'm going to take 1% of the 5,000. So we have a $100 interest charge plus 1% of our 5,000 gives us $150. And since this is greater than $35, this is our minimum payment, right? So our minimum payment is going to be this $150. Okay. And let's suppose we make our $150 minimum payment on time, right? No late fees or anything like that. Okay. So then let's look at our new balance. Our new balance is going to be $5,000 plus the $100 in interest minus the $150 that we made as a payment. So our balance is now at $4,950. Sorry, $4, but here's what I want you to pay attention to. We paid $150, but our balance only went down by $50. Okay, that, that's, that's the key thing here. We paid $150, but our balance went down by $50. Okay, now again, let's just, let's continue this example 
suppose we make no new purchases, no other transactions. So the next month our balance was $4,950 the whole month. And we repeat the same thing. I'm gonna take my uh, interest percent of my 4,950 and I get $99 as my interest charge. Okay. So again, if I, if I follow my formula, I have my $99 interest and then I have my 1% of balance and I come out with $148.50. And again, we make our minimum payment. So our new balance is gonna be our previous balance, 4,950 plus the $99 in interest and minus the $148.50 that we paid. So our balance is now $4,900.50. Okay, so again, we paid $148.50 but our balance only went down by $49.50. Okay. What I want you to notice is that uh, 150 is three times 50. Okay. 148.50 is three times 49.50. So if we're only making minimum payments, we end up paying $3 for every dollar that you owe. That means that if you buy a pack of gum for $1, then you have to pay $3 for it to, to actually have it paid off, right? If you're only making these minimum payments, okay? Now, different credit cards might be different, right? If your interest rate is not 24%, the story changes a little bit, but it's not gonna change by very much. This process is the same. If you're only making minimum payments, you can expect to pay roughly three times as much for everything that you buy, all right? So like, you know, if, if you're going shopping and you see something on sale and you're like, oh, that's 20% off, I have to get it now. And you throw it onto a credit card that you're only making minimum payments on. It's like, oh wait, now triple the price. That's what you're actually paying, okay? So that's, that's the danger with credit cards, okay? You can go from, you know, if you paid off everything every month, then your $40 charge costs you $40. If you're only making minimum payments, that $40 gas costs you $120, okay? And that's, you know, that, that doesn't seem like a good deal at all, okay? All right, so um, that's a little bit about credit cards and a, a, a little bit of warning there. Um, in the homework, what we're going to do is look at picking apart some of this average daily balance and going through that and try and compute it. And again, I don't really have an expectation that any of you are going to bust out your credit card uh, uh, statement and compute your average daily balance. But the idea is by going further than you would go in your regular life, maybe it'll help kind of ingrain in the process so you, so you understand what's going on better. Okay, so that, that's the idea behind it.